today we will listen presentation from Professor Alexander and then we'll continue in Q&A session. And the last session, we will take a picture together for documentation. Yeah, maybe for, for Professor wow, Alexander, you. you can start for this class today. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you very much. So, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce myself for you. Um, I was invited to say uh, uh, our meeting, but uh, at uh, uh, the 1st of uh, uh, March, we cannot to meet because maybe you know that at uh, 24th of February, uh, it was uh, some uh, real war between Russia and uh, Ukraine start and the Russian troops come to our uh, country and after that start very, very uh, dangerous and uh, very strange war. So I ask to organizers of this um, event to transfer our meeting because I cannot uh, one month ago con connect with you. We have some problems with communication and so on. Uh, just now I cannot uh, turn on my video because uh, my uh, computer uh, video uh, in my computer is broken and I just now not in my university. I, I stay outside of our city and uh, just now our university is working uh, online regime. So uh, if we have some uh, problems for uh, video communications, maybe some later we can change this situation. So, so let's, uh, I'd like start uh, my uh, presentation. Uh, uh, as uh, was announced, uh, the subject of our uh, meeting, this is some aspects of modern, took, uh, modern theory of automatic control. And uh, what uh, it mean uh, the modern, uh, modern uh, theory of automatic control? This first of all concentrated uh, about control system design in so-called uh, space of state variable. Uh, and in the frame of our meeting, I pres I'd like uh, that you will say, uh, you will look at uh, some uh, points of this meeting. First of all, this is a general model for describing the automatic control system in the space of state variables taking into account the action of uncontrolled random disturbances. And the, the next step is the, the concept of controllability of linear dynamic system and controllability criterion. The next point, this is solution of the problem of model control and uh, some uh, determination the some uh, approaches for determination of the uh, feedback matrix, which provides feel, uh, full compensation uh, for influence of disturbances on the vector of the system output variable. So uh, here uh, you can see next steps, uh, recommendation for choosing of uh, desired characteristic polynomial of the closing system, solution of the problem of analytical design of the optimal controller, Riccati question and, uh, and other. And the next step, determination of a mathematical model of an uncontrolled random disturbance acting of the, on the system. And we look some example. Maybe uh, in frame of these um, points, we uh, spend our meeting today. Maybe if we will uh, have some time, 
we uh, can discuss about uh, chapter two application of the observers in the control system. This is also very interesting aspects of the modern uh, theory of the automatic control. And I'd like to present for you my some experience in this area. So uh, I uh, just now I don't uh, uh, comment uh, chapter number two. If we will have some time, I, I present it. So uh, I, uh, for introduction, I'd like to uh, underline that uh, the modern automatic control systems uh, that are used in energy, energy, transport, aviation, and space technology differ significantly from those simple systems for which the classical theory of automatic control was developed. For comparison, uh, consider the main features of classical and modern automatic control, uh, control theory. I uh, hope uh, uh, some, somebody who is uh, take part in our meeting have some start knowledge, some primary knowledge about uh, create of automatic control system. And I'd like to uh, underline this, uh, the main uh, terms, uh, terms and uh, uh, of classical uh, theory uh, of automatic control and application area. This is one dimension, linear and dynamic system. So, and in classical uh, control uh, theory of control systems, mathematical apparatus is linear differential equations, Laplace transforming, transfer functions, uh, and very often are used frequency characteristics uh, as, uh, for example, amplitude frequency characteristic phase, frequency characteristic in the uh, amplitude uh, phase uh, frequency characteristics. And uh, in classical theory of automatic control, very often application of standard <coughs> links of automatic control system. And I hope somebody who take part in our meeting have some primary knowledge about uh, these aspects of classical theory of uh, automatic control. <clears throat> and the uh, uh, tasks uh, which um, are solved for classical theory of automatic control, this is determination of the stability of automatic control system, uh, the use of al algebraic uh, Hurwitz, Raus, and frequency, Mikhailov, Nekis, Mikhailov, stability criteria. And the determination of the transfer functions of the system by the control and disturbing influences. And also in classic theory of automatic control, uh, very often used uh, creation of uh, transient processes of system. So, <clears throat> and uh, if we say about description of system of the space in state variab variables, uh, the field of application, this analysis and synthesis of uh, multidimensional linear dynamic system operating under conditions of uncontrolled random disturbances. And the mathematical apparatus which uh, we need to use here, this is systems of differential equations, matrix uh, differential equations, uh, equations, matrix calculation, and use of concepts of controllability and observability. This is absolutely new terms which uh, 
does not used in the classical theory of automatic control. This is uh, concepts of controllability and observability. And the tasks uh, which we can solve it in the uh, frame of the new uh, aspects of modern uh, automatic control system, this is analysis of system. Does the system have the property of complete controllability and, co and complete observability? And also system synthesis, solving the problem of model control and solving the problem of analytical design of the optimal controller. And also criterion of uh, mathematical models of uh, uncontrolled random uh, perturbations in the state space and construction of observing device that provides uh, estimate of the state vector of system. Also, uh, uh, creation of extended observing device that provided uh, an estimated of state vector of system and also estimated the vector of and control the random disturbances acting of system and also system uh, synthesis of closed systems that provide this given dynamic properties of system and compensation for uncontrolled random disturbances. This is all uh, this I uh, try to present uh, the main um, terms and uh, uh, which um, tasks uh, 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 which we can uh, uh, solve in frame of uh, modern uh, theory of automatic control. And uh, the first point of this uh, presentation, this is general model for describing the automatic control system in space of state variables taking into account the action of uncontrolled random disturbances. And uh, the general model can be represented as uh, here presented in below. This is matrix system of matrix uh, uh, differential equations where uh, X, uh, so, excuse me, Uh, so, uh, the first equation, this is uh, equation, so-called equation of dynamic, and uh, uh, the second equation is uh, the equation of uh, uh, measurement, measurement. And uh, here we uh, look uh, variables, matrix of um, matrix of uh, uh, state of system which consists of uh, some controlled and uncontrolled parameters for example i'd like uh, i'd like uh, to explain you for example the plane is landing we can uh, we can uh, measure the distance to our goal, speed of uh, landing, acceleration and of landing. And these parameters, uh, uh, for example, altitude, speed, and acceleration of moving, this is uh, the components of this vector uh, x. Uh, which is vector of uh, state of condition system. And uh, if uh, just now I uh, just, in, and I next, uh, uh, first of all, we can understand this, that vector X is the object state vector and fully characterizing, characterizing the current state of object variable. If uh, I explain about the uh, landing of the plane, this is altitude, speed of uh, uh, moving and uh, uh, acceleration. 
uh, why uh, is the vector uh, object output variables that directly ensure the achievements of control goal? Uh, this is uh, very important that uh, vector X and vector Y is not, uh, they connected between each other, but it's not equal. Vector U is a vector of control signals which apply to the inputs of the control system. Uh, for example, if uh, we, we are driving, for example, driving the car, we uh, put, put, we influence to our car, uh, for example, uh, for regimes of, uh, uh, regimes of, uh, for example, some engine, and uh, we uh, control direction of moving. This is a vector of uh, control signals which we put for uh, the object of control. And uh, W, this is a vector of uh, uncontrolled random perturbations acting to the system and causing deviation of vector of output variables uh, y uh, from the given values. And A, B, C, and F, this is a matrices, matrices of coefficient of mathematical model of the object, which can be obtained when solving problem of structure and parametric identification of control uh, object is realized. So let's come uh, here. So here is a differential of uh, matrix X. This is a, a component which is determined of dynamic of a system. This is component which is uh, realize our uh, control uh, uh, control uh, signals to the system. And here is component which uh, uh, describe, uh, which um, uh, presented influence uh, uh, casual uh, disturbances, which is influenced to the output variables of uh, our uh, system. So, and uh, uh, as for um, vector or random uh, disturbances, uh, W can be considered as uh, uh, the output of some dynamic system in such form. Uh, which, uh, which such form uh, is interesting for our uh, in this frame? Uh, because form of this uh, uh, mathematical model very um, simple and very correspondent to our uh, mathematical model of object of control. This is the same form. And uh, this uh, mathematical model is uh, very uh, very often to uh, very uh, often can to uh, can use for uh, uh, mathematical describing of uh, uh, some disturbances with uh, disturbances which influenced on, on our automatic control system and here the same vector z the same as vector X. This is a state vector of disturbances acting on the subsystems of control object. And the W, this is equivalent signal per disturbances, which when applied to the input of system. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. <coughs> So uh, uh, equivalent signal perturbances, which uh, when applied to input of the system, uh, cause a corresponding deviation of the vector output variables uh, y from the given values. And D and H 
matrix, matrices uh, of coefficient of the mathematical model of these disturbances, uh, the structure and parameters of which depends of the nature of the disturbances actually acting of the, on the object and can be determined on the basic of, of experimental study. So, and uh, this component, this is sequences vector of delta function, which weight uh, some um, coefficients uh, alpha i changes, uh, changes in random a piecewise constant manner at random time. So this is a general mathematical model uh, which most mostly used in uh, uh, modern uh, automatic control system. And uh, just now I try to explain more detail, uh, which uh, this is mathematical model uh, presented. So uh, graphically, uh, it, this uh, mathematical model may be presented in such form where here, this is uh, object of automatic control. Here is input variables, here is output variables, and here is vector of uh, state of condition. And here, uh, upper uh, mathematical model. This is mathematical model of our casual disturbances, which uh, influence on the input of our automatic object of automatic control and the change our output variables of um, our system. Uh, so uh, this picture very traditionally presented uh, in uh, uh, different uh, books and uh, uh, materials for studying uh, the modern automatic control uh, system. So, uh, the next step after understanding which is the mathematical model of our uh, objects of control and uh, uh, visual uh, disturbances, and when uh, synthesizing, uh, synthesizing automatic control system, an important question uh, uh, is whether it's possible using uh, negative feedback to obtain the necessary dynamic characteristic of a closing system. And the answer to this question the concept of complex controllability of system is introduced. So just uh, I'd like to uh, come back uh, again to this picture. So uh, as a rule, this uh, subject of automatic control system has some uh, dynamic characteristics. And also this uh, object uh, is under the influence of uh, disturbances. That then uh, we need create some closed system, some closed system that obtain first of all the uh, dynamic characteristics which we need for our object of control, and also the next uh, next task. We need minimizing influence these uh, casual disturbances on output variables. So, and uh, uh, the first uh, uh, task which we need answered, uh, how uh, this our subject of control uh, uh, parameters which uh, give us uh, hope to create any uh, dynamic characteristic for this subject which we need. 
and the uh, answer for this uh, uh, question, this is concept of controllability of a linear dynamic system and controllability criterion. So the concept of controllability for system one one consists in answering the question uh, is it possible to introduce in feedback for example u vector u creation as uh, uh, multiply matrix k to matrix x provide the requirement uh, required values all components of the system state vector x so if we can control each uh, component of vector x we can obtain uh, such dynamic characteristics which we did uh, this concept is uh, an extremely linked with the possibility uh, of placing the roots of the characteristic uh, equation of the system on the complex plane in a given way by introducing feedback. So uh, here we can say about two approaches. First of all, we can obtain uh, some dynamic characteristics which we need. And the, the second approach, how how we need placing the root of the characteristic equation of this system and uh, and uh, correspondently we obtain uh, such dynamic characteristics which we need so <clears throat> uh, for uh, answer for this question about controllability was uh, was formulated some criterion for complex controllability uh, the system one one the equality of the rank of controllability matrix matrix q c to order n of system so rank matrix contro controllability must be equal n where the controllability matrix is defined as uh, show here 1.3 this matrix controllability this is a complex matrix which create from matrix b matrix uh, multiply a b matrix as i show here and so if we if we have we if we have uh, excuse me if we have mathematical model of object of control so uh, this is it means we have uh, numerical data about matrix a b e c and c we can we can create this matrix this matrix and after analysis uh, rank of this matrix, if rank of this matrix is equal n, the n is order of our system. So it means our system have properties of full controllability or uh, complex controllability. So, <laughs> If uh, uh, our system uh, have a property of controllability, uh, we can solution we can realize uh, some uh, solution of the problem of model control. Uh, somebody can ask me uh, what we need to do if our um, system have not properties of uh, complete co controllability. Uh, and uh, here we need understand that if our uh, system uh, have not uh, property uh, complete controllability, 
it means that we cannot uh, every uh, every component of um, our uh, system obtain which we need. So if uh, the rank matrix controllability, for example, uh, equal n minus one, the, it means some component is uncontrolled, uncontrolled. But uh, sometimes it's possible to use an all uh, such uh, control system where some components of uh, 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 automatic control system uh, is uncontrolled. So let's uh, look uh, what is uh, the problem of model control. The problem of model control, it means uh, it's uh, the algorithm, the synthesis of the automatic con control system, closed, closed automatic control system, based on the solution of model control problem to implement the control law of the following form. Here you can see uh, control law for uh, uh, the solution problem of model control. Here is uh, our uh, vector uh, of control signals U is created as uh, sum of uh, multiply matrix K1 to matrix X and matrix K2 to W uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, casual disturbances which, uh, uh, which influence or to our automatic control system. So, and uh, where matrix K1, this is matrix of feedback coefficient, providing the requirement place, uh, placement of the pole of closed system on the complex plane. And matrix two, uh, K2, this is a matrix of feedback coefficient that provides full compensation for influence of random disturbances. And the uh, uh, disturbances uh, influence uh, 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 signal double W on the vector of output variables. So uh, since the mathematical models 1.1 uh, and 1.2 I linear approximation, the termination of the numerical values of the elements, the matrix K1 and matrix K2 can be determined independently. And uh, the block diagram of a closed system in which a control law on form uh, in form 1.4 is implemented has the form as shown the next uh, uh, picture. So you can see the block diagram of a closed closed system at the solving the problem of model control. <laughs> you can see our object of control this is object of control and we use one uh, closed loop through matrix uh, k1 and the w t uh, from t we used uh, for uh, matrix k2 and put the signals to input of our system and uh, if we realize such closed system, we use the matrix K1, we uh, obtain uh, dynamic characteristics uh, of our control uh, system, which we need. And the matrix K2 uh, very, uh, very hard compensate influence uh, influence uh, disturbances which uh, influence 
on our uh, automatic control system, especially for output variable. So here is two uh, feedback closed loops. And just now we need for uh, solving uh, problem of model control, we need to determine the, to determine a matrix K1 and K2. To determine the elements of the feedback matrix K1, when solving the problem of model control, it's necessary, it's necessary to write the equation of a closed system for uh, in form 1.1, taking into account the control law 1.4 in such form. So we obtain the uh, mathematical model of closed system without disturbances in such form, in such form. And uh, uh, when solving the problem of model control by choosing the feedback matrix of the system K1, you can get any desired placement on the closed system uh, poles on the complex plane. So to, for determining the numerical values of the elements of the feedback matrix K1, it's necessary to uh, equal the characteristic polynomial corresponding to the closest system equation 1.5 to the sum desired characteristic polynomial. So here is, uh, you can see the sum uh, very easy uh, equation. So this uh, in the left part of this uh, equation, here this uh, characteristic polynomial closed system and here is uh, some desired characteristic polynomial. Which, uh, what is mean desired characteristic polynomial? Uh, some specialists who uh, have some experience in uh, creation of closed systems uh, have some knowledge about how uh, must uh, poles of closed system are located on uh, uh, complex uh, plane. And uh, you know, here you can see S is the Laplace variable and uh, I is a dente matrix. <laughs> so setting, setting the distance of closed system poles removal on the complex plane from the uh, imaginary axis, for example, distance uh, omega zero, and also uh, choosing various forms of the desired closed system characteristics polynomials from this uh, 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 1.6 uh, equation, we obtain of system, of system of algebraic, uh, algebraic equation for determining the numerical values of elements of feed matrix K1. So let's come back. So if we have uh, numerical values matrix A and B, if we know mathematical model of our subject object of control, we can uh, try to determine uh, numerical values matrix K1 such for in such uh, values for our uh, characteristic polynomial uh, of uh, closed system corresponding so-called desired characteristic polynomial. And after that, if we uh, have some uh, the sequel, we obtain a system of linear algebraic uh, equations for uh, determine uh, numerical values matrix K. So this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, 
uh, approach which uh, give us possibility to determine a matrix uh, feedback K1 for obtaining uh, obtain uh, dynamic characteristic of closed system which we need. So the next step, uh, if we can uh, do, determine matrix K1, the next step uh, is the uh, need to determine matrix K2. And here we have some next task, determination of the feedback matrix, which provides full compensation for the influence of disturbances on the vector of system output variable. To determine the matrix of feedback K2, which provides full compensation for uh, effect of disturbances uh, W on the vector of the system output variable, we can write the solution of the equation uh, 1.1 in such form. This is a well-known uh, equation. Uh, where is presented our uh, output variable. So, and also uh, in this, uh, this equa equation consists of uh, elements of mathematical model of our uh, object of control and the uh, parameters of our uh, casual disturbances uh, which acting on our system. For order to uncontrol the random perturbances uh, W acting on the system, not to affect the vector of output variable, uh, why it's necessary uh, and sufficient that second term in uh, uh, 1 1.7 be equal to zero. And uh, this can be achieved in, uh, if um, there is such a matrix K2 for which the condition will be satisfied. So we uh, obtain such form and uh, uh, we obtain uh, that matrix K2 must uh, satisfy the following condition. B K2 plus phi multiply F, uh, H uh, equals zero. So uh, matrix B we know as, uh, as a component of mathematical model of object of control. F and H, this is matrix of uh, model of uh, casual disturbances. And from this, uh, conditions we can obtain matrix uh, K2. So thus uh, the matrix K2 can be de determined as the numerical values of the matrix uh, B, F, H are known. So uh, here uh, some very shortly I uh, uh, try to present for you how the problem of model control is, uh, can be solved. We need to obtain matrix K1 and K2, but for uh, obtain, obtain uh, uh, its uh, numerical values, we need, we need to know uh, mathematical model of uh, object of control and also we need to have um, detailed uh, mathematical model of uh, casual disturbances which influence to, uh, for, to our uh, uh, object of control. So the next, uh, uh, the next part of information which uh, I'd like to present you. It uh, uh, connected with uh, which uh, characteristic polynome of our closed system we need, we want. So 
And the, uh, one of the possible indicator of the quality uh, of uh, transition function H key can be uh, its deviation from idea step function. And uh, which can be estimated, but uh, integral, for example, in such form. And uh, here we uh, uh, can to find in different books which uh, characteristic polynomials we can uh, use for solving problems of model control. And here, for example, if we uh, try to obtain very good uh, uh, function H key, very uh, small difference from uh, uh, ideal step function, we can use such uh, characteristic polynomials. Here is presented polynomials for example, from uh, uh, the second order to sixth order. So uh, if we, uh, excuse me, just, uh, just I try here. So uh, just now we, we, uh, dis we will discuss about this uh, desired characteristic polynom, which we need. And, uh, for example, the, uh, the more easy uh, characteristic polynom, this is a polynom uh, with binomial coefficient. Uh, in this form, we can uh, write characteristic polynom is such form. If we have, for example, order of our system uh, three, four, five, six, uh, which we uh, can obtain in the process of uh, parametric and uh, uh, structure identification, we, uh, uh, this is no. And uh, after that, we can obtain some recommendation for choosing of desired characteristic polynom of closed system. Uh, if we uh, we'll use characteristic polynom in uh, binomial, this binomial coefficient. We have some parameter omega zero. This is distance uh, of the characteristic polynom, uh, polynomial root removal from the uh, imaginary axis on the complex plane. And is the order of the system. So, if we understand which we need distance, minimal distance our uh, root polynomial roots from uh, imaginary axis, we uh, correspondent obtain some dynamics characteristic of our system. So, and this, uh, this is one uh, approach. This is one of uh, uh, desired uh, characteristic polynom. This is next variant, which we need some minimal, uh, minimal uh, distance between each uh, function H from uh, ideal step function uh, uh, one, uh, and this is some integral criterion. Here, uh, here presented some uh, characteristic of polynomials, and here also we use parameters omega zero, which mean the some distance uh, roots of characteristic of polynom from uh, imaginary uh, X. And you can see uh, up to uh, order number eight, uh, we can uh, use such uh, characteristic polynomial. Uh, here also uh, very often to use such criterion for uh, obtaining uh, characteristic of polynomial. And for this form in uh, form one, 
point uh, 12, here is presented corresponding characteristical polynomials which we can use for uh, our uh, characteristical polynomial, our closed system. So uh, we have not such, uh, enough time for very um, detailed discussion about which which characteristical polynomials better, maybe some worse, but uh, here is uh, very important that consider uh, another approach to choice of typical model uh, from the theory of active filters. It's known that one of the uh, under uh, cerebral types of uh, signal distortion uh, are phase distortion, which are the greater, the uh, stronger the phase frequency characteristic on the system differ from linear. In the theory of practice of active filter, filters, it's shown that uh, uh, Thomson filter have the uh, close to linear phase frequency response. And characteristic polynomials of the transfer function of the filters are Bessel polynomials. Therefore, some filters are called Bessel Thompson filters. So, and here is presented uh, polynomials, the Bessel Thompson forms, which as for my opinion uh, and my experience, give us very good um, results at criteria and uh, at, uh, we, when we uh, solve the problems of model control. Uh, here also we need to uh, choose some parameters omega zero. This is distance. Uh, from uh, imaginary axis and the uh, roots of uh, characteristic polynomials. And after that, we can use in such uh, characteristic polynomials to obtain uh, parameters matrix of uh, K1 for uh, solving task of model. Uh, so, yes. Uh, uh, summary of this uh, uh, part of information uh, here is presented different kinds of uh, characteristic polynomial form. And uh, if uh, uh, during uh, solving the problem of model control, you can try different kinds of characteristic polynomial polynomials and you can obtain different uh, numerical values of parameter uh, elements of matrix K1. And uh, during mathematical modeling, you can uh, understand which characteristic polynomial in, uh, in one or another form is better corresponding requirements for uh, dynamic characteristics uh, for uh, closed system, which you uh, creation. So, uh, 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 if we uh, if we uh, can to solve the problem of model control. The next step of uh, creation of closed system, this is a problem and solution of the uh, problem, uh, solution of problem, uh, so-called analytical design of the optimal controller. And here is, uh, uh, we need uh, work with so-called Riccati equation. So, here is uh, important to um, underline that theoretically uh, solving the problem of model control, we can obtain uh, dynamic characteristics 
absolutely which we need. But in real in real conditions, uh, anyway, we have some limitation. For example, for a level of um, input signals, uh, sometimes, sometimes I uh, I propose some uh, some example. Uh, for example, if uh, uh, plane is landing and uh, its rule can be changed his position only some some degrees and uh, the uh, solving of a problem of model control can be proposed us to change uh, position uh, plane rule, for example, 90 degrees this is absolutely impossible but theoretical uh, in the our calculation we can obtain such unreal parameters so uh, when we uh, working with the uh, problem of model control we need very carefully uh, look on parameters and signals which we obtain. And if this level of signals very, very high, it needs uh, think about some limitation on uh, parameters, uh, on uh, variables of uh, object control, and also limitation on uh, uh, control system. So, uh, here i'd like to underline that under the condition of com complete controllability of a linear system or in form one one the roots of characteristic equation of a closing system can be arbitrarily placed on the complex plane by choosing of feedback matrix k1 and thus ensure the desired dynamics of closed system of automatic control so however the formal solution of the model control task causes to a significant increase uh, increase in the amplitude of control signal in any practical task of synthesis of control system the amplitude of control signals U is limited, uh, which imposes a restriction of the areas of possible placement of the poles of uh, the closed system. Accounting for such a, a, a constraint causes to the formulation the problem of analytical design of optimal controller in which the choice of feedback coefficient of the system involves of the optimization of the sum so-called integral square criterion which takes into account both the quality of the transient uh, process and also magnitude of control signals and uh, here also uh, for control object in for uh, in form 1.1 the control law of the such form u is uh, multiply matrix k1 and matrix x so uh, uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, let's take some uh, uh, some uh, stop uh, maybe five six minutes let's some rest for uh, our listening if if you agree we stop uh, our presentation and continue in five minutes okay okay so let's let's break uh, to five five minutes. Are you agree? Are you agree with me?
sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, we have break to five minutes. Pardon, sir? Okay, okay, let's continue. Okay, okay, let's continue. So, I, uh, I, I'd like uh, once more 
once more repeat when we 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 uh, uh, we uh, realize some uh, task of model control we can obtain absolutely fantastic parameters of closed system and uh, if we uh, modeling uh, this system in computer we can obtain very very excellent parameters but the level of signals very very uh, large can be very large so uh, as for my opinion the uh, model uh, this uh, task of model control give us possibility obtain some uh, region of parameters which we need check for more detail continuous calculation and uh, after that we can use uh, another approach for uh, for uh, obtaining matrix k1 using so-called integral square criterion and you can see here here uh, matrix k1 is depends from time it's very interesting and very uh, very important if uh, the parameters of our object of control is changed, especially uh, it's more uh, easy for me to understand because I work in the aerospace uh, area, the parameters, for example, launcher or some spacecraft, very, very, uh, very big change during its operation. And the matrix K, K1 can be changed corresponding to change the parameters of object of control. So, and the, the uh, integral uh, criterion is in such form. In such form. You can see this integral uh, includes a uh, vector of uh, uh, state of system x uh, the vector of control signals u and also here we use matrix q1 q q2 and q0 here is uh, x the uh, system state vector yes in previously our task u is vector of control signals and the q0 q1 q2 this is given matrix of weight coefficient uh, if uh, the parameters of object is uh, determined uh, and uh, uh, stable the matrix uh, 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 k1 may be uh, determined as in from this um, uh, equation so matrix k1 is uh, uh, it needs uh, to order uh, to order uh, matrix q2 here is matrix uh, weight coefficients at the signal uh, control signals matrix b uh, this is matrix of uh, matrix of object of control and the uh, matrix r this is matrix uh, is the solution of so-called matrix matrix Riccati equation which has the form matrix Riccati has such form you can see also here matrix A. This is matrix of object of control, matrix B to also, and the uh, matrix weight coefficients Q1 and Q2. So 
and uh, uh, this is equations with the final condition at the point R R uh, in uh, final point is equal zero uh, Q zero. If uh, the system is stationary, the optimal feedback coefficient at uh, T uh, is uh, moved to uh, here and tends and uh, uh, the expression 1.17 takes the following form. So matrix K1 in this case can be uh, determined as very simple uh, uh, form, very simple form. And uh, uh, where uh, R is the positive definite uh, solution of the matrix equation following from equation 1.18, and which takes the following form. Here is very, very simple, uh, uh, simplest, I, I'd like to say, uh, matrix Riccati. And uh, uh, here is uh, uh, any, any components uh, well known, uh, and the matrix R, we can obtain from this uh, equation. When from this equation we obtain uh, values, numerical values matrix A, uh, R, we put these uh, values here in uh, this form 1.19, and we can obtain matrix, uh, numerical values matrix K1. This is matrix uh, feedback. feedback. So, uh, uh, you can ask me uh, uh, which which uh, uh, which uh, difference this approach from the approach of uh, task of model control. In the uh, task of model control, we need to find some uh, desired uh, 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 characteristic polynomial. And here we need to, to propose some matrix of uh, weight coefficient and which we change parameters of this matrix, the dynamics characteristics closed system will be changed. So uh, this approach, also uh, very strongly connected to the needs uh, mathematical modeling closed system, which we obtain some numerical values uh, matrix uh, feedback, but uh, matrix uh, weight, weighting coefficients Q1, Q2, Q0 can be changed and also we can change the some parameters of the uh, dynamic parameters of closed system. So uh, we uh, look uh, to approaches to uh, obtain, obtaining uh, numerical uh, elements uh, matrix K1 for obtaining a dynamic characteristic of closed system, which we need. And next step is determination of a mathematical model of uncontrolled random disturbances acting of, of, on the system. And here I'd like some explain you uh, this uh, approach in su such form. Uncontrolled uh, random disturbances which act in the system can be represented as a sum weight sum of some typical signals, the parameters of which change in a random piecewise constant manner at random times. Such uh, perturbances can be represented as and here is a very uh, general form. So 
this is uh, some uh, random disturbances as uh, some some component uh, different functions uh, f1 f2 and so so with some weight coefficient c1 c2 and so on. Uh, random signal can be considered as a weighted combination of a known basic function with an unknown weight coefficient. If, for example, step linear and square signals are taken in basic function, then expression uh, 1.21 can be represented as, for example, here we can present our uh, disturbances as uh, some as some steps with uh, random level, some linear element with uh, random coefficient and the sum uh, square uh, uh, function with random coefficient. Uh, why this is form is very um, interesting for our consideration? Because the, uh, this signal can be modeling as uh, output some dynamic model the dynamic model uh, who, uh, whose output uh, is polynomial signal this 1.22 can be represented as so you can see you can see system of differential equations uh, which uh, output uh, signal created such form uh, the dynamic model, this uh, 1.23, can be represented in matrix form in such form. For example, uh, that with uh, point uh, is equal to this uh, equation. Uh, if you carefully look on this equation, matrix equation, and uh, you can compare with uh, uh, mathematical model of uh, automatic con uh, object of control, object of control. So, and here also we have uh, vector Z as a vector of disturbances states and matrices D and F H is presented in very simple form. And is as a result, we can obtain some uh, modeling of uh, uh, random disturbances in some uh, form as some uh, steps linear square function. So uh, here uh, I'd like uh, to show you some examples uh, for uh, we need uh, come from some uh, some matrix mathematical form for some more uh, well-known form in uh, form of uh, transfer functions and so uh, the first example let's consider some system consists of aperiodic links of the first and second order to the input of which control signals u1 and u2 are applied and the output signal of which x1 and x3 are summed and feed through the amplifier link to the output of y as shown in this figure. Here is a typical form, maybe in classical theory automatic control. Here is two uh, 
classical links, this is a periodical link, uh, the second order, and this typical link, uh, a periodical uh, link, uh, the first order. Here, uh, this signal is summary and uh, transfer to output variable. So, for uh, this system, we can write the system of equations. For example, uh, for uh, a periodical uh, link, the second order, we can uh, write here. And uh, uh, for uh, a periodical uh, link, the first order uh, in such form. And also, why is some of uh, variables x1 and x3 x uh, is presented here. So, and if we transform uh, in such form, this is very simple transforming from such form to this form. Uh, here we obtain uh, here uh, uh, here uh, so we need highest um, order uh, put to left and the uh, smaller order put to right and if we introduce in the notation uh, x with point one uh, equal x2, we can write this uh, form in such, in such form. 1, 2, 3 equation and equation uh, of uh, uh, measurement, equation of measurement. So this three equation uh, is described uh, the uh, dynamic characteristics of our system and the uh, uh, force, force equation is uh, equation of uh, measurement. And if we, uh, we uh, here we look at the left, we have a differential x1, x2, x3, this point, and the uh, after that, we can, if we uh, vector x presented as uh, vector uh, x1, x2, x3, we obtain matrix A from this, uh, this uh, three dynamic equation. We obtain corresponding uh, numerical values matrix uh, A. And the uh, matrix B, this is matrix uh, at the uh, input signals. And this matrix B is obtained in such form. And matrix C is presented in this form. So if we uh, uh, write uh, mathematical model, our example in uh, uh, scalar form, here we can present it in uh, matrix form, uh, in the form uh, in form 1.1, .1, as we uh, look at the first of our consideration. So, and here uh, you can see the numerical values uh, uh, of matrix A. Uh, can be uh, calculated uh, from the parameters of uh, uh, links which consist our uh, object of control, k1, k2, uh, and uh, k1, k2, k3. So here you can see as uh, how we can obtain numerical values, parameters, matrix A, B, C for uh, a system which is presented of here. This is uh, maybe simplest example of uh, not one dimension, uh, one dimension uh, system because we have two input, U1 and U2, and uh, one uh, output variables 
variable uh, y1. Uh, so so uh, for this system, we have uh, such a mathematical model uh, uh, for our example. <coughs> and uh, when uh, we obtain numerical values uh, matrix ABC, the resulting matrices of system make it possible to anal analyze uh, the controllability of system, solve a problem of model control, and the uh, analytical design of optimal uh, controller. Uh, we can uh, check uh, system uh, has uh, uh, the system property of com complete controllability. When we have uh, uh, numerical values matrix A, B, and C, we can create uh, matrix matrix uh, controllability QC as complex matrix, which uh, we need uh, locate here matrix B. Here matrix A multiplied to B and the next matrix uh, A square B. And uh, if uh, we have uh, A uh, uh, matrix B in such form, A B in such form, and A square B in such form, we obtain matrix controllability in such form. Here is matrix B, this is matrix AB, and this matrix A square B. So, and uh, we need check uh, what uh, rank matrix, matrix uh, this, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, for condition rank matrix to see equal n to be satisfied it's necessary that uh, from the matrix qc it's possible to find such uh, matrix uh, with uh, uh, dimension n to n uh, whose determination determinant is not equal to zero so we uh, can uh, for example to try to uh, calculate determinant of such matrix uh, with dimension n to n, and we obtain that if uh, these uh, conditions b to one square and b three one, uh, three two uh, not equal zero, if uh, this condition is uh, right we uh, can say that uh, our system has properties of controllability. So this is a very simple uh, example, but it gives us uh, some uh, primary information about how we can check uh, our real, some real uh, object of control to create some uh, mathematical model in uh, state conditions and uh, check it to uh, property of uh, complete controllability, controllability. So, <clears throat> so, uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, continue our our uh, consideration, uh, and I'd like uh, I'd like uh, explain you about why we need um, a look and uh, investigate uh, possibility of application of observing in control systems and uh, for more easy to explain i need to come back to come back 
uh, here, come back here. It's more easy for uh, this uh, mathematical model and also to uh, close system over here. So look, please, look, please. So uh, when we uh, say about uh, solving the task of uh, model, uh, model control, model uh, and uh, analytical uh, creative uh, analytical uh, calculation of optimal uh, controller, we obtain some approaches for uh, to find numerical values matrix K and matrix uh, K1 and K2. And uh, we have two approaches for uh, uh, obtaining numerical uh, values matrix K1 uh, during uh, solving the task of model control and analytical design uh, optimal uh, controller, and also uh, numerical values matrix K2 for compensation influence disturbances, which uh, influence to output variables. Uh, but, but we draw here, this is uh, back loops, and uh, we take here a signal about uh, state of X uh, of the system. And here we can uh, use uh, signal W. But in real conditions, in real conditions, this is uh, object of control, and we have possibility to measure only output variables. In 99% uh, uh, cases, we cannot measure vector of x uh, object of control. But in the law of control, we use this signal here, if we use signal about disturbances. So uh, in uh, modern uh, automatic control uh, theory, uh, input new term, new term, uh, so-called observer. And the chapter two is also uh, chapter two, uh, say about this uh, application of the observer uh, in control system. Uh, and here I uh, try to uh, repeat more uh, detail, necessity of an observing device using in structure of the closed control system. Uh, Methods for the synthesis of closed system based both on solving of problem of model control and analytical design of optimal controller suggest, firstly, the presence of the mathematical model of control object in for, or form uh, in form 1.1 uh, and model of random perturbances of the form 1.2. And secondly, the assumption of uh, that all components of the vector X of the object and uh, Z, vector Z of random perturbances are available for direct uh, measurement. These assumptions uh, underline the use of a control law in form 1.4. I just now show uh, this uh, uh, control loops. For the synth synthesis of real control system systems, 
is not necessary to have a mathematical model of object uh, in the form of matrix A, B, C, F, as well as matrix D and H, characterizing the mathematical model of random disturbances. These matrices can be de determined as results of structural and parametric uh, identification based on theoretical and experimental studies of control logic. As for measurement of the vector X and Z, this vector are not available for direct measurement for a real technical system. Therefore, to implement the consider control laws, it necessary to include an observing device into the closed system designed to obtain the estimate of vector, uh, this uh, symbol of estimation of uh, the object, uh, states the object, and estimate of the vector of random disturbances. This is also not uh, uh, measurement signal. This is estimate of a uh, vector of random disturbances, which can be used in control law of the form 1.4. So, <clears throat> and uh, uh, if we will say about uh, uh, about uh, ob about observation. The concept of observability of linear dynamic system and observability creation, we need to uh, discuss and present it. In modern control theory, uh, along with the concept of controllability, the concept of observability is widely used. If the system has the property of complete observability, then having a mathematical model 1.1, it's possible to con construct, creation some a dynamic model, so-called observing device, uh, then will provide an estimate of the state vector of the system X uh, with uh, this uh, symbol. Uh, and criterion for complex obser observability of system 1.1 is the equality of the rank of the observability matrix Q observer ability to the order N of the system. The same as controllability, observability is the look the same, but the matrix observability, Q observer, is uh, uh, defined as follow. So matrix uh, uh, observability transported is uh, the same form. If we in the controllability use matrix A and B, here we use matrix C, A and C. And also we uh, must use matrix C, uh, matrix C multiply A, matrix C multiply A square, and so on. So, <clears throat> for example, uh, if we uh, use this criterion uh, observability, let's check whether the system which presented in figure 1.3 has property of complex observability. And this matrix in uh, for a system of uh, the sort uh, order is presented here. This is uh, order N minus one. And so uh, using matrix A and C, which we can obtain, which were obtained in example 1.8.1, we have matrix C, matrix C A, matrix C A square. And after that, we create this matrix 
this matrix observ 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 observability. So, for condition rank, rank matrix uh, observability is equal to n, to be set satisfied, it's necessary that from the matrix uh, we can obtain such uh, matrix uh, with dimension n to n, who, which uh, who, whose determinant is not equal to zero. So we create determinant from a matrix uh, observability and uh, uh, it's not equal zero. We, you can see that if we hear uh, element uh, on this diagonal, and this uh, determinant is uh, not equal zero. So in such form, the system under consideration uh, figure 1.3 has property of complex observability. Okay, so uh, this is only some uh, determine, uh, determination what the uh, observability and uh, what is what is observed. Uh, and just now uh, I'd like to present you example of the simplest observing device. If the mathematical model of the control object uh, of the form 1.1 is known, uh, matrix A, B, C are defined, then digital or analog uh, model of the system can be considered as the simplest observing device. So, if uh, matrix A, B, C, V uh, have, we obtain during parametric and structure identification of our object, we can create such mathematical model, uh, which uh, we proposed for uh, observing. And here is uh, estimation, estimation uh, vectors, X, and the estimation uh, vector uh, y. And the vector of, of uh, input uh, control signals, we can use uh, from real system. So here is not uh, estimation, this is a real signal. And uh, uh, in the simplest, in the simplest form, we can, uh, here is our real object, this is physical object, uh, which is, uh, have some mathematical model with uh, uh, numerical, numerical parameters matrix A, B, C. Um, and, yes. Sorry, sir? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm apologies before, uh, for you just have a uh, 15 minutes more left. Is okay. it okay? Okay, okay. Okay, thank so, you. So, 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 uh, so, um, as I, I say with my uh, colleagues from international department, uh, they say uh, about uh, possibility organize uh, our next meeting in some some time, and I'd like I'd like uh, uh, more detail uh, present you information about uh, 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 this uh, observation uh, devices which I use in my practic uh, activity. Uh, so. Uh, I'd like, uh, here we have some very short time for uh, our final, final uh, communication. So I'd like that I work in aerospace uh, area and many years I uh, work in uh, area of creation of um, uh, so-called 
electrical propulsion thrusters for uh, space application. And uh, these elements of modern, uh, uh, modern theory of autonomic control, I uh, uh, real and practic, uh, um, real practic uh, for creation control systems for these uh, electrical propulsion thrusters. And uh, if we will have some next meeting, I'd like to present you some information about uh, using such uh, observers uh, for my practice and uh, uh, example of uh, creation control, uh, closed control system for my real uh, devices. And uh, I, I think uh, the goal of uh, our first meeting with you, this is uh, explain you about possibility which give us new instrument, instrumentation for uh, working in uh, real automatic control systems. But sometimes, Classical, classic theory of automatic control uh, give not uh, us possibility um, obtain uh, real good results, uh, especially for multi-dimension system. So uh, I, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, our colleagues uh, have not maybe some experience in classic theory of automatic control, but uh, I'd like very briefly try to explain you about possibility new approaches. And uh, uh, next time I, uh, I'd uh, like uh, these materials uh, sent to you in the electronic form and with some reference which uh, books you can uh, use for more detail, uh, investigate this uh, aspect. And the next, my goal of meeting with you, I'd like to explain that this theory start from uh, applied mathematics, but I am practic and I'd like, uh, I'd like create some bridge between uh, mathematical aspects and practical uh, realization of this idea. And I'd like to explain this is very powerful in instrument for creation automatic control system. And if somebody will uh, have some needs to work in some technical problems, uh, I, I think it's possible to use such uh, approaches for uh, practical activities. So, so if if you uh, if somebody uh, interested in uh, uh, these uh, materials and uh, if if it needs to uh, continue this uh, meeting. I think our chiefs of international department can be discussed about, and we will find the possibility connected again. And I, I will very glad to, to meet with you and explain my uh, experience and the uh, approaches which I use in practice, okay? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can do it for the. Oh, so, uh, I, 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 uh, very, very difficult to hear very, very, very slowly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is enough for presentation. Sure. May I know? Okay. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, maybe we can go to in question and answer session. Yeah, maybe for our audience, if you wanna ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in room chat. Okay, first question we have from Miss Rajas, Miss Rajas Ferry. Yeah, from Miss Rajas Ferry, the time is yours. Thank you. Okay, thank uh -huh, you, Miss Rafita. Uh, Miss Rafita, but Mr. Bambang already asked something in the chat room. Didn't want to. Okay, maybe the you can ask King first. I will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Professor. My name is Rajesh Kari. I am a student from Stockholm University. Actually, uh, my background is uh, from software engineering, so I don't really know about uh, technical engineering and mechanical engineering. But uh, something quite interesting for me that when you said about a polynomial degree, a polynomial equation. So is that mean that the increase of the polynomial degree can increase the accuracy as well? Because mm -hmm. um, how if that uh, the more polynomial degree increase, but the accuracy decrease, could it happen? Did you mm -hmm. ever face this kind of issue? Mm -hmm. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, if uh, if we say about uh, polynomials, different kind of polynomials, yeah. uh, it's um, it's possible to use any a, a, any variance. Uh, 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 I uh, uh, I'd like uh, uh, informed you about about I. Uh, uh, it's need. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, some book, Quackernack okay. and Sivan, Quackernack and Sivan uh, theory of linear systems, and there is presented different kind of polynomial, and uh, uh, for example, binomial polynomials is very good if we need uh, very uh, slow. Uh, uh, very slow process from one point to another point without mm -hmm. any oscillations and very, but very, uh, very, uh, very long time uh, process. And as for my uh, opinion, and I hear, uh, I try to explain here, uh, mm -hmm. the polyn polynomials which uh, is connected with uh, polynom vessels and uh, uh, classical uh, uh, filters, uh, Thompson's, uh, it gives us the best uh, and more quickly uh, process transfer from one point to another point without uh, any oscillation. So, but uh, uh, I I try underline that uh, each step of uh, calculation and uh, the calculation of uh, parameters of system it needs uh, to add some mathematical modeling. And uh, during modeling, you can uh, meet some specific, specific processes of a closed system, and uh, you can change some parameters of uh, 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 back loops and uh, obtain uh, such dynamic characteristic which uh, you need. So, uh, uh, as for my opinion, is this is it needs uh, some create some uh, primary estimation parameter of system, uh, take some one, two, three, some maybe another uh, characteristic polynomials. And uh, you can uh, obtain from that such uh, mm -hmm. parameters, parameters which uh, you need. 
uh, so and also uh, i'd like uh, this approach which i presented here uh, with uh, using mathematical model of uh, uh, random disturbances this is very interesting idea because we need we can uh, we have possibility not estimate no only uh, vector of parameters uh, uh, system but also we can uh, estimate parameters of this random disturbances and uh, if we uh, meet uh, the next meeting in future i'd like to show you how obtain this uh, uh, estimation parameter for system and for distribution so it's uh, uh, just now i'd like only listed our possibilities which we can uh, use for uh, realization uh, such some uh, real uh, tasks uh, for a real system okay 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 thank you for answering sir and thank you for your suggestion about that book i will look into it after and we are waiting for your next chapter thank you sir. i hope i hope I, I hope the war in Ukraine will be will be uh, slowly and uh, maybe just now um, I, I I am sure <laughs> it yeah. will be okay. Yeah, okay. Got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Good <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> hope everything will be fine. So okay, okay. Let's let's continue to, in the future. Ms. Novita, I'm done. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And the uh, next question we have uh, from Bambang Suhartono, yeah, to Professor Alexander. May I, may I ask how to determine the loop control system, when to use open loop, and when to use closed loop? Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh. I, didn't. Oh, I I I don't hear. I don't hear very very uh, no, uh, noise. Uh, uh, maybe maybe uh, write in chat. Maybe write in chat. And, I'm uh, ready. Yeah, I'm ready to write in chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I'd like I'd like uh, say uh, if we uh, we have uh, open loop open loop the dynamic characteristics uh, uh, of object of control not change if uh, their uh, dynamic uh, parameters is uh, uh, is good for us we we uh, can uh, does not use closed system but if we need uh, some change parameters uh, dynamic characteristics of object of control we need create the control loop when uh, so, sometimes when i uh, answered for my students answered for the same question i try to explain them for example we have uh, we have operational amplifier uh, and when we uh, create some control uh, close loop uh, we obtain amplifier parameters of which uh, does not depends from parameter of amplifier uh, on but only from closed loop element so when we use closed loops we try to uh, change para influence parameters uh, object of control 
for output variable. So, uh, and uh, uh, if we have uh, open loop, open loop, uh, uh, it's some program. Uh, this is some uh, system with program control, and this is very simple uh, system which without any. Uh, any compensation, for example, some disturbances. If our system has open loop, uh, each disturbances which influence to object of control influence for output variable, very, very strong. Uh, this is maybe some power supply, for example. If we have, for example, a simple transformer, uh, it gives us uh, some uh, voltages, which is very strong, depend from voltages in the circuit. Uh, if the, uh, the voltages change and uh, uh, output voltage on our transformer is also changed. But if we need the stable, parameters of uh, output parameters. We need to create some closed loop. So one more question. Yeah. Uh, I think we, I guess so, no one, uh, pardon? Let's, let's uh, uh, right, please, in chat, please, uh, more easy, uh, because uh, noise uh, in uh, communication, and it's difficult to uh, listen it. Yeah. Uh, you can hear my voice for now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess no one else asking. Okay, I continue the session for crossing, sure. So, so, pardon. Uh, uh, voice is is broken. So I I listen I listen only some words, not not idea. Pardon? Yeah. Uh, try to to write in chat, please. Yes. Okay, just a moment, please. I'm ready, sir. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I guess I think we don't have no more question. I will close the this event. Okay. Finally, we came to the end of visiting lecture today. So unfortunately, we already way off the time until 5 p.m. in Indonesian time and then 12 p.m. in Ukraine time. So sadly, and we would like to say thanks again for Professor Alexander for their information will be beneficial audience. And I hope we can meet again at other event. Yeah, thank you for our audience okay. to join with us. Thank you for Professor Alexander, maybe we can okay, drink some collaboration okay. against in other event and in next day in the future. Yeah, thank you for coming to this session. Thank you, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you. Communications to our chiefs of the international department. Yeah, thank you. I will yes, contact yes. for international department. Thank you yeah. so much for Professor Alexander to come. Thank you for everybody.